Hello my loves, how are you? Yes, I love you, Jesus loves you, Jesus loves us. And today, I need you to take the dust off of your Bible. Take the dust off of your Bible. What does Jesus say about enemies? Let's turn to Matthew 5. And scroll your precious eyes to the 43rd verse. So what is it that Yeshua, okay, says about enemies? What does he say? Because a lot of times, I know you, you want to tell your enemies off. I just have to let this person know today I am not for it. Or, I just can't go through this anymore. I'm so depressed. And you know what? It might be better if I do something worse than what this person did to me. No. We are beacons of light, my love. We are beacons of light and love. And let's see exactly what Yeshua said. So we are going to read his words this, today. And this is an amazing lesson. This is going to add value to your day. Feast and marinate on this and watch and play this video over. So, Matthew 5, as you can see, all of these words that are in red, those are words that Yeshua said, and they're here for us. So, scroll your precious eyes to the 43rd verse, and let's see what Yeshua said. He says, you have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But, I say to you, Love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. But why? That you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. Oh, wow. That's a lot in a nutshell. But Yeshua told us, okay, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Love them. Let them tell bearer. Let them gossip. Let them spread lies about you on Facebook. Let them spread lies about you on the job. Let them spread lies about you in the school. Continue. Let, let them run their wheels. Pray for them. Love them. And bless them. No worries here. Okay? Do good to those who hate you. You know how sometimes grandma used to say, kill them with a smile. It takes a lot of energy. Let's say you know you're, you have friction with someone, resentment. I'm not saying every time you look at them, you're... But this is about how you feel. This is not about letting their negative energy and their enemy-like ways taint your God-like essence. No! We are beacons of light, my love. We are here to set examples for everybody. Okay? Kill them with a smile. There's nothing wrong with that. And they're like, wait. I thought you were supposed to be mad at me. And then they're all confused and, and they don't know what's going on. And they're wondering, well, she, she, he must be over it. Or she must be over it. Or I can't take, I can't steal her joy. Don't let the enemy steal your joy. Keep smiling. So yes, we may do good to those who hate you and pray for those who spitefully use you. What about the leeches? What about the snakes? So you can tell that they're their, their actions and everything are disingenuous and insincere. They think they can milk and hold and grab onto, oh, what can I get out of this person? What can I get out of this person? What can I get out of him? What can I get out of Let them spin their wheels. Let them spin their wheels and just pray for them. Do what Yeshua said and pray for them. Don't try to operate on your own level of understanding. I mean, like I said, Grandma already mentioned that you can kill them with a smile. Yeshua said, pray for them and bless them. And if it just so happens that you are, your actions are aligned with good things, 
and people are persecuting you, doctor, lawyer, engineer, um, neurologist, librarian, teacher, whatever it may be, older sister, older brother, younger sister, younger brother, cousin, niece, mother, father, whatever you may be. You're going to have people that want to tear you down. And I'm giving you this, this motivation and, and this healing right now and this enlightenment. Tap into Yeshua's word. Because a lot of times we walk in God's faith. We walk in his essence. And sometimes we are persecuted. We are persecuted although our actions are righteous. And it's okay. Not everybody can, not everybody can walk this path. It's fine to acknowledge that, my loves. It's fine to acknowledge it, but you just have to say, God is so good. You have to believe it. That's not just something you just say and throw around because, it, yeah, it sounds great, but you have to believe it. And when you believe it, yeah, you will receive, you will receive sevenfold, okay? God is so good, your life will be good. Do you truly believe it? Do you truly marinate on it? Do you feast on his word? Do you feast on his law? Do you feast on the nectar? Those who are persecuting you, do you pray for them? Do you bless them? Do you show love? Lead by example. We're beacons of light. Oh, my loves. What a powerful message that the Heavenly Father touched my spirit with and made it so that I can share this with you. And you make sure that today when you give, when you give so that this message spreads everybody to those who need healing, okay? Those who are dealing with doubt, depression, loneliness, those who lost their loved ones, those who are just suffering right now mentally and psychologically and emotionally, you make sure that when you give, you give out of the kindness of your heart. There's no force here. You don't give because I said so. You have to be elevated at this time to know that you're giving not just for you, but for millions of others. You have to know and believe in the law of reciprocity. That when you bless and that when you give, you receive sevenfold and tenfold. But you have to be ready for it. And not everybody is ready for it. But nonetheless, I love you. God bless you. And take the dust off your Bible. And tonight, before you go to bed, Make sure that you are prepared and ready that you do not succumb to those enemies that try to tear you down and that try to steal your joy and that try to steal your essence and that don't believe your and who don't believe your path or your testimony. You tap into Matthew 5, you scroll your precious eyes to verse 43, and you said, Destiny already told me how to deal with you. I, I, I'm already prepared. I love you. Peace and blessings.